Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome to brand new Let's Try series. Today we're gonna be playing Caravan. Caravan came out, I think, on 30th of September, so it's almost a month ago. But still, I wanted to try it, and I didn't, I didn't actually have the the time and the plans to do it before. So now, now it's the time. So what is Caravan, you ask? Well, Caravan is a mix of strategy, trading, and RPG. You manage your own caravan, and it's set in the historic uh, Orient, you know, Arabic Peninsula and stuff like that, I believe, is where it lies. Geography is proper, you have uh, authentic cities and regional folklore, and uh, stories from the Arabian Nights. So, uh, it should be a very interesting game to play, I played it for a couple of minutes just to try it out. And let's uh, let's start a new game. As you can see, Coco Press is here. Let's start a new game. Um, what shall be our portrait? Uh, I guess we'll use this guy. Mordecai shall not be our name. Certainly not. Oh, just excuse me because my my earphones are screwed up. Ugh. Okay, that's better now. Okay, so we shall be Coco, I guess. Let's create. And let's, let's start a new. Damn, that's, that's loud. Prologue, Iram of the Pillars. At the beginning of our time, legends were born on the Arabian Peninsula, which still live on today. One of those legends is about Iram of the Pillars and its unbelievable fate. You are the heir to the throne of Iram. Up until now, you've enjoyed a life of luxury within the palace walls never having to work for anything or anyone. But that's all about to change. Alrighty, let's change it then. Continue. We are at the Realm of the Pillars, as said. Great. Do I really have to, Father? We have everything we need right here in our kingdom. I would rather stay in the garden and enjoy this beautiful day. Every member of our family needs to learn the foundations of trade. It's what made our city as wealthy as radiant as it is today. Leading a caravan is one of these foundations. And your mother and I think you're old enough for the responsibility. But first, I have a small task for you. I recently found that r this ring under the divan. Actually, funny story about that, it all began with... Yourself! Ah, never mind. Go to the bazaar and find a merchant willing to buy it from you. Already, let's let's sell let's sell the thingy to the merchant. This is our city, a realm of the pillars currently. This is our inventory up here, and that's fine, that's fine. I've seen this, I've seen this written here before. This is inventory. We have three slots, and we have a gold ring in here, and we can go and sell it to Marta, the merchant. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Sure, you can. Um, let's just yeah yeah okay okay it's fine it's fine we know how to trade let's. Drag and drop this in here. This is what we receive. This is her money. This is our money currently. And let's finish the trade. Well done. Take the silver and buy three water skins from the merchant by the well. You will need them for your blah blah blah. Journey through the desert. Sure. Hello. Greetings, my fellow caravan master. Would you like to fill up your water supplies? Or perhaps I can interest you in some fine water skins. Let's buy some water skins. We need to buy three, right? Boom. Three. I'll pay 36 drachma. Let's finish the trade. Always consider carefully how much water you will need to take with you on your journeys. Understood? Yeah, sure. Uh, take my drum there, it's already loaded with the goods. I'll take it to Mokka without being taken advantage to off. Well, I suppose all that's left is for me to wish you to a pleasant journey. Someone else coming along? Yes, Uncle Yusuf is gonna come along. Oh, come on, it's been so long since I last visited Mosha, and I know a lot of stories I can tell you on the way. We'll have fun, trust me. Okay, thank you, Uncle Yusuf. You're gonna give me a map. That's great. Now we have a map here, and we are in the Ram of the Pillars. This is where we're at, and we have to go to Mosha. You can see we have Marib here, Gera, uh, the famous city of Petra and Babylon. And Palmyra, indeed. So yeah, this is this is Arabic Peninsula, as you can see, as you can see down here. That's fine. There's a map legend, and we basically have to go down to Mosh, I believe, right? We have 84 drachma. This is our water supply, 
average speed how much water do we consume per day and that's it so let's go down here i believe we just have to click on it uh these are goods that we need to trade mm, that's fine travel duration one day eight hours and we need 10 per day so we'll spend most of our water let's travel let's go this is me in here coco this is my hp and uncle yusuf is here he has less HP than me, and uh, when something like this happens, there's gonna be some specific events. Underneath a lonely tree, you see an old man carving a piece of wood. He looks up and dresses you. Well, I'll be a wanderer. Look at this, fine wandering stuff I've made, wanderer. I c it can be yours for only a few silver coins. The staff would make your journeys much easier. I don't wanna buy it, rather not. I'm begging you, my wife sent me packing and desperate need money, and carving good is all I'm good at. I don't trust you, bro. I don't trust you. I'm sure you have some other motive, so let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Please, please, I beg you. 30 drachma, please. No, I'm not selling you. I'm not buying your stuff. I don't care. Listen, I have been standing here for hours waiting for you. And your father doesn't even pay me that well. Now just take the stuff and keep your money. Yeah, good. Thank you. Give me your staff. It was added to my inventory. And as you, if I can click here, this is my character portrait. You can see my HP, my water consumption, my speed, my capacity, uh, my offensive, defensive, and cunning skills, and aggression, rationality, and emotionality in haggling. I can equip the simple staff, I believe. There we go. Plus two speed. It's a simple staff card from a piece of wood. If we can look at Yusuf. Uh, he has less HP. Uh, I think I'm better on defensive. He's better on cunning and offensive. There we go. Anyway, that's it. Let's uh, travel onwards. Let's travel onwards. What is this? Positive effects. Huh. The realm of the pillars. We drank a bit of water. That's good. Going on our way to Mosha, and something is gonna happen. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Hello, sir. In the desert, you come across a hermit. You notice he has barely any water with him. Greetings, travelers. Isn't this a beautiful day? The sun burns my flesh. How can you stand this heat with so little water? Ha! But the mind is stronger than the flesh. I can teach you to suppress your thirst and make your water supplies last longer if you like. This sounds very helpful. Thank you. Here you see your hero skill. New skills are taught by guild masters after raising your rank. The clever use of skills can simplify your survival. Every hero can have several animals and auxiliaries depending on their rank. Animals add inventory slots and affect your caravan speed. Auxiliaries increase your hero's health and the effectiveness of his skills. Animals and auxiliaries can be reassigned to other heroes via drag and drop. They can be dismissed by clicking on the little icon below the portrait. Okay. Um, decrease water consumption by 5% per auxiliary. Water consumption by 5%. Is this what we can learn? Okay. We probably... Oh, we didn't even spend any money for that? That was great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's bring Yusuf. Let's go. Yusuf, you're a bit fat for this journey, aren't you? Hopefully, you're gonna lose some weight. Um, This is another event, isn't it? Look at this. Maccabi. Maccabi? Uh, he's Yusuf's older brother. Older brother, probably. Younger? In the desert, you come across the Bedouin's tent. The man calls out as he sees you approach. Stranger, I have a donkey and an auxiliary who are causing me nothing but bad luck. Please, just a drachma and I'll let you take one of my hand. So we can we can buy a donkey or auxiliary for just the one drachma? I'd say, sure. Um, tell me about the auxiliary. Auxiliary should help you to use your talents better and improve your chance of survival if you're attacked by bandits or other. You know what? That sounds good. We do have a camel. I probably donkey carries more stuff, but we already have a camel. So let's take the auxiliary. Thank you. I hope that my bad luck will be cut in half. Let us continue. Oh, this is our dude now. He's not a hero, he, so we don't have a portrait. He just added to someone. This guy is a rogue. What am I? I'm just a caravan master. Sure. Let's continue on. We should probably get there. Auxiliary has the stuff as well. I think Yusuf would be the one that actually needs the stuff. Almost ate all of our water. Yes, but we are, I believe, in Mosha now. And there we go. Game saved. The Karen has reached Mosha. What's well, good? Uh, we we'll probably have to trade with Burton, the merchant. 
Ah, Frank, it was from Iran, so we want to have loaded on your dromedary. Uh, so basically we have to sell all of this, right? We have honey. We have gold. We have carpets. As you can see, everything has a description and a special type. Anise, it's spices. Honey is food. Gold is raw materials. Carpets is textiles and tools. <clears throat> it's good. You can see the purchasing price and selling price. So we're not making any money on this things or what? Uh, yeah, we're making more money on spices, I guess, and more money on jewelry. Huh, pretty good. Okay, we're gonna make 374 drachmas for that. We can haggle, we cannot. Okay, that's money. Take Uncle Yusuf to train with the Guildmaster of Mosha. Okay, Tabitha. Let's go. Ah, Yusuf, it's been a long time. What are you doing in Mosha? She stares you up and down. Oh, my servant and I, he says, we don't wait to you. Just wanted to look around the market. Um, sure, master. Well, it seems you're ready to learn some new tricks, Yusuf. Interesting training with me. Oh, I know what she means. I know what she's gonna train. So we're gonna spend 150 drachma to level him up to rank 2. That's probably gonna increase his stats, I believe. Uh, huh, there we go. More slots for auxiliaries. An additional slot. Uh, plus 2 HP, plus 15, plus 20, plus 25 in this, and he's better at haggling. Well, that is that. Before we leave, you should fill up on water for the long journey home. Then we'll get you back into your garden. Well, thank you. I'm gonna go back to my garden then, which is where I belong. So, uh, yeah, he's way better than me on all of the skills now. Okay. Same on defensive? Same on defensive. That's gonna be important if you have to fight someone. Fight this... A bit, a bit complicated, but you know, you'll you'll see. I, in my test run, which lasted like 12 minutes, I already fought one jackal, so I've seen it there how it works. But you know, I'll explain if I can, because I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> Come fill your water skins. You'll never know when the next sandstorm will hit. Let's uh, just refill water. That should be fine. Can you buy something to bring it back? Probably not. Just travel back to your um, Let's go back to the realm of the pillars. Oh, so this is. Oh, we see this. Water is cheap in Iran. Yes, food is normal. Raw materials normal. Textiles expensive. Spices normal, and luxury goods expensive. I guess this is this is how it is, huh? Okay, that's that's good to know. If you if you wish to trade, if you wish to bring stuff from one place to another, that's good to know. It kind of reminds me of uh, good old games called Trade Wins. I don't know if you're, uh, if you guys heard of it. It's it's quite old. The games are quite old, I believe. Well, not quite old, but you know, more than ten years. And you were uh, basically uh, not a pirate, but a merchant sailing the seas, and you had to you had to trade from city to city. You know, buy cheap and sell expensive. That was a great game. I played that. There's been more than just one. I played, I think, two or three of them, as a belief. Anyway, you see a lone jackal off in the distance. As soon as it notices you, it starts running your way. As soon as you see the foam dripping from its mouth and the wounds covering its body, you reach for your knife. I do have a knife to fight a jackal. So, um, now here we can choose a person that's gonna fight. Uh, I'm gonna choose Yusuf because he has better stats here. And there we go. Battling Karen is based on a dice variant of rock, paper, and scissors. Your hero is on the left, while the opponent is on the right. Under your hero's portrait, you find your health, the damage he will cause this round, and his base combat attributes. In the middle of the screen is the dice field. Your attributes are green, while your opponents are red. Like this. Between the attribute fields are values that signify the difference. Green values mean that you have the advantage. Red values mean your opponent has the advantage. Um... Wait, what? Okay, so this one is opponent, this one is his, right? This one is his, and this one is his. Those three are his, these three are ours, I believe. Okay. You can increase your hero's attributes by assigning dice from the dice field to your attributes. White dice can be assigned to any category, your opponent will do the same. All accumulated points will be dealt as damage to the opponent. You should try to increase your damage output while reducing the damage received. 
Some heroes have sp skills especially useful in combat, assigning additional auxiliaries to their heroes not only raises their health but also increases the effectiveness of those skills. So we have a skill, Ransack, steals 5 points of combat or haggling category per auxiliary and adds it to, you, adds it to your hero. Okay, so uh, we have the dice, we can increase this, beats opponent's defensive, beaten by offensive, this is his offensive. I can assign this here, I can assign that here, that, that, everything can go here basically. So grab the, the highest one of course, and he can, he can grab this one then, and then I can assign this one again, but I'm already beating him here. So let's add this here, so I can, that, that should, oh it's the same, huh? he has more here. Well, just do this. He's gonna. I'm gonna do 150 damage. He's gonna do 60 damage, and he's already dead, I believe. You defeat your opponent as a reward. You get 50 XP. Great, awesome, terrible beast. I'm glad you're okay. Your mother would have been heartbroken. She doesn't need to worry about me. She's fine. I mean, I'm fine. She's fine probably as well. Travel back to Iran. Let's go back to Iran, boys. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> a realm of the pillars. Oh, it's a sandstorm. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. As you travel back to realm, you see a frightening scene. The skies are black, and a gigantic storm seems to have the whole area in grip. You try to get through the storm, but you can barely even breathe. Ow. You look around and realize you are alone. You seem to have lost sight of the others, even though you yell against the howling of the storm. The only answer you get is loud humming sound. Well, that's great. I'm just gonna stand here in storm and have fun and just continue the journey. This seems like a great thing to do. Right? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to your realm. Hopefully you'll find them there. Coco skill preserve water is usable again. Okay, uh your realm doesn't look that good. As you enter the city, you are faced with the enormity of the disaster. The storm seems to have destroyed around completely. You don't see a soul until suddenly you can make out your father's shape in front of you. Of course, only my father survived. My beloved Coco, thank, thank the gods you made it here in one piece and already sold everything we had and brought the money back with you. We have to leave this place quickly. Everyone else has already fled the city. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's not waste our time. I know our current Sarai close by. Is that how you pronounce it? Karen Sarai? Sari? Karen Sari. Karen Sari, I think. Close by, come on, hurry. Where's mother? I don't know, she was just with me. When she, I will tell you everything later. Alright, it's fine, I don't care about them. Your father hugs you, and together you flee the city. Okay, this request escape from Iran has changed. Flee around to nearby Karen Sarai. Karen Sari. Karen Sari. I need to remember how to pronounce this. Uh. Aaron, my father, is not really good at combat. Yusuf was better. He was rogue. So basically we have to flee. We actually have some water. I guess my father brought some water reserves. We can't do anything at the realm. Which is unfortunate. But we now can go back to Shura Sharura. Sharura. Okay, this is as far as I've played before. I haven't done anything forward from this. So we'll go to Sharura. Uh, water is cheap there. Food is expensive. Raw materials are cheap, uh, textile are expensive, spice are expensive, luxury good expensive. There's a well there. God, let's travel. Go, father. Let's 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 go. Oh, we lost our auxiliary to, auxiliary as well. We have a couple of water skins. Fair enough. A couple of empty ones even. Something's gonna happen. The storm is still raging. Oh, a ghostly figure races towards you from out of the storm. This is a gin, isn't it? Oh, it's a gin. Aaron, you fool, what have you done? The fate of the entire kingdom is on you. Father, what is going on here? What is this creature? I'll try to stop the creature. Here, take your mother's charm so you'll never forget us. Go now. But I have so many questions. Go away, run, and you come here, evil demon. The charm! Give it back! What are you doing? I think he killed my father. And I'm just gonna kneel here. That's that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kneel here. Uh, I have too many stuff here. Don't lie. I can't really go forward yet. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of these empty water skins. 
because our inventory is full and my timer is sounding here okay good stuff uh let's continue on let's try to get to somewhere that some something somewhere that happens possibly Shura. what is this thing around me is that the charm we got possibly that's possibly the case there we go game saved Chapter the caravan has reached Shura. the kingdom of sheba you are the heir to the queen of Iram of the pillars once a fabled place of beauty, the city has fallen under a brutal curse. A never-ending sandstorm that has devastated everything and buried the city in the endless sands of the empty quarter. You barely escaped with your life, and now you're trying to solve the mystery that swallowed your city and your family. But traveling the deserts of ancient Arabia is both difficult and dangerous. You will need help and a lot of silver. Alrighty, that's that's a great that's a great beginning and the end of uh, you know beginning and the end. All right, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. It's uh, it's a first episode in the series. Of course, that's why it's important that as many shares can be done. You know, but anyway, um, I'm gonna play some more. I really enjoy it. The story is pretty damn cool. Uh, I like the trading setup, and uh, we'll see how it actually goes on. But for now, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more doing magic. And I'll see you next time. Go out.